The goal of our senior project is to create an AI food quality control sensor. To give a brief overview, a human's ability to distinguish whether food is edible or inedible is highly subjective. We hope to create a device that will make this decision-making process a little easier. Our theory of operating this device is fairly simple. We would first place the food, red meat specifically, on a platform, maybe a pressure plate. The system would then run a scan on it and send values to an AI. From there, the AI would process the data, determine if it is safe for consumption, and then notify the user or users of its decision. Since we are only interested in specific parts of the food, the device would need a way to determine meat from areas such as bone and fat and move the sensor to these particular areas uh, or points of interest. To do this, a camera will take a photo of the food, identify what areas to go to and where to avoid. Stepper motors will move the scanner to those points. Uh, a PCB will be designed to attach all the motors and motor drivers along with any additional hardware necessary for this function during the final phases of testing. In this project, we will be using the AS7263 multispectral sensor, which will measure in the near infrared range. It will measure six unique bands, and it will communicate with the Raspberry Pi using I2C and a driver we wrote. It will get signals from the Raspberry Pi to start collecting data, and to send the collected data back to the Raspberry Pi. The collected data is provided to AI to determine if the meat is okay to eat. For the AI portion of our project, we used uh, Google's open source um, machine learning library called TensorFlow. A um, little background on it, created by the Google Brain team, TensorFlow is an open source library for numerical computation and large scale machine learning. TensorFlow bundles together a slew of machine learning and deep, and deep learning, aka neural networking models and algorithms and makes them useful by way of common metaphor. It uses Python to provide a convenient front-end API for building applications with the framework while ex executing those applications in high performance C++. TensorFlow can train and run deep neural networks from handwritten digital classifications, image recognition, word embedding, embeddings, recurrent neural networks, sequence to sequence models for machine translations, and much more. But we are using it to um, take in our sensor values and provide um, an answer on whether the meat is good or not. How does it work? Machine work, here's the workflow. So you have a data preparation and cleaning of the data. You then split the data into um, different columns. And then you have two sorts of data. You have training data that we give it to before we actually have it ready for um, actual use. Um, and then the test data, which would be like real life data. The trained data fits the machine learning coefficients, and then you train the model that you build with that data, and then both will end up being evaluated. Uh, TensorFlow allows developers to create data flow graphs, structures that describe how graph data moves through a graph or a series of processing nodes. Each node in the graph represents a mathematical operation, and each connection or edge between nodes is a multidimensional data array, or tensor, hence where the name comes from. Um, so we had to design mathematical operations on our sensor data in order to come up with an answer whether the meat is good or bad. Um, some example of what our data looks like. So in, you have the readings of each one. So these are the different spectrums of light that the sensor reads. Um, and the condition was bad. The sensor is one inch away from the meat. Um, and entering in these different variables into um, our AI code, we then built a, mo a model for it where it can then later be trained to come up with answers on whether it's good or bad.